Hello friends, how are you? Hope you are all fine and doing very well. So today we are going to learn about how we can create a drop down in HTML and CSS. So we are going to do this thing in two languages. The first one is markup language and the second one is styling language. So first we create a simple markup of it and then we will style it. So it will look like something this. You, you can see this is home, services, news, and you can see about have a drop down. And tutorials have also a drop down and it have a drop down and again a drop down inside. Uh, this is known as nested drop downs. So these are advanced topics. So I will cover it with very descriptive uh, tutorial. I'm covering it with uh, very description I mean with a lot of explanation so don't worry if you are uh, very uh, weird about the concepts you feel very weird about the concepts of drop down so we will cover everything in this topic in this tutorial in this video so don't worry let's start it first of all I'm gonna um, this is my desktop so first of all I'm going to make a folder here and then name it as drop down CSS then I open it and and then I open this folder with open with code it's a text editor known as the real studio code editor so I'm going to open it and open this folder as you can see this folder is open so mm, now I'm going to uh, make two files the first one is index.html and the second one is style.css okay you can name it uh, whatever you want but um, I'm using some name that mm, most of the developers wrote it as so it's totally fine whatever you name you want to name it you name your file you can also change what kind of title you want I'm just writing a random title like drop down in CSS okay so first of all here is my simple structure of um, this is a boilerplate of my website now I'm going to make a structure um, so of my uh, web page and I think that I have to link my CSS file here and now first of all I'm going to create a div and type its class with name na main navbar so main navbar container you can say I'm using very descriptive names here so you can understand it easily main navbar container and inside this container I'm going to put a UL inside a UL I'm going to put an LI inside the LI I'm going to put A known as anchor links and then simple navigation style I'm copying it home services survey VICS and uh, news what else you can also write about and then maybe there is another known as tutorials looks like this okay so this is very simple structure of my website as you can see it here it's very very simple so uh, what should I do next first of all uh, let me let me show you what it is looking right now I'm just going to copy its path from here and paste it in my web browser so as you can see it is something looks like this so for drop down purpose I have to use uh, another nested uh, another list inside list items 
So first of all, I'm going to target this about section and um, inside this li I'm going to again put the jewel and then li so it is known as nested list items and or lists so I'm just using uh, nested list items here this is a very simple procedure I'm just going to put an href again with a link of anchor links you can see and I'm going gonna name it as email address not address like this R E W S, and then you can see works testimonials and uh, clients and uh, portfolio maybe all of these are looking good and also in tutorial section I'm going to put a ul here with the li and a and href and then some t uh, courses names like html and css and you can say javascript rapt script and uh, bootstrap python php what else i should use mysql mm -hmm. now that's looking good one more is algorithm okay now it looks like something so these are about section have email address works testimonials clients portfolio and the tutorials have html css javascript bootstrap python php mysql algorithm so the this is our simple drop down with html is created now i'm gonna style it so the styling is very simple as you can see this is my style.css first of all i'm going to reset of each and every element using strike a selector so it will select each and every element in my web page and i'm gonna set each and every element to margin to zero and same padding to zero and box sizing to border box so it will avoid uh, when we set padding so it will avoid to make the ch change the width so uh, without box sizing actually the element changes its width so i you just have to put these three uh, properties in every website in your every website one more thing i'm gonna choose a font family here so it looks uh, good with uh, maybe this one okay now the next thing is what can we do yeah there is a storm outside so there is so much noise for this purpose so don't worry so first of all i'm going to select my main navbar container maybe what I named it as yeah main navbar container so first of all I'm going to copy it here and paste it here it's a class so that's why I'm using a period here and then I'm going to display this one first of all let me show you what it, what it looks like now so as you can see it looks like something this okay now I'm going to style it and display this to flex once you refresh it it comes in one line okay it is not coming in one line so I, okay, okay okay yes I have to use a UL here then it will come it looks like this now it's looking pretty cool as you can see it is very good looking cool so now the next thing I'm gonna do is list style I'm gonna list style to none and or any none once you refresh it you can see all the dots are away okay not all the dots but some dots are away okay what else could we do mm -hmm. okay leave it as it is then we are going to set again main navbar ul allies so it will select all the allies in my main navbar container now i'm gonna set its background color to 
I have RGB colors with uh, something looks like this 50, 53, again 53, again 53. So it will make a little bit black color. And again, I'm going to list style to none. Now you can see a great change. If I remove it for now and refresh the page, now you can see all the uh, dots or you can say the markers are gone with, because of this list style. So what is next? Mm -hmm. The next is I'm gonna text align to center. And refresh it and the another thing that uh, I can do I'm going to set the main neighbor container ul lia and then I'm going to set the text uh, set, oh, first of all I'm going to change its color to white once you refresh it, you can see these things clearly and then I'm going to <coughs> set the text transform TT text transform to uppercase another thing that I can do is text decoration to none now once you refresh it, you can see it looks like this now which is, actually we are uh, very close to our goal okay so what is next uh -huh. so first of all I'm going to set a padding here because every item is very close to each other so I'm going to give a padding of mm -hmm, let's suppose 10 pixels from top 0 pixels from mm, right 10 pixels from bottom 0 pixels from left or you can also do it with something looks like this 0 10 pixel so top and bottom is set to 0 and left and right is set no no, no. I, I I want to t <laughs> make it 10 and this one set it to 0 pixel so this is top and bottom is 10 pixel and 0 is left and right so once you refresh it you can see a nice change but it is not looking that cool that I want to make it so another thing that I can do is setting a width here to 100% maybe it will take every uh, each and every yeah it is taking full space so this is the thing that I want yes now it's looking very good okay what is next yeah I'm covering each and every thing another thing that we can use align items here to flex start so it will look like something this yeah now it is clear because flex start is actually there are a lot of property like a uh, center so it will center the everything something looks like this but I don't want it in this way I want it to set it to flex start so it will mm, it won't stretch anymore and it will take the space that uh, 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 the, uh, the, that the element is taking so there is something <laughs> i don't know why my tongue is working uh, in this order so um, next thing that i can do is change the flex direction to column okay so um, i can say that my main neighbor container ul have the ally and inside the ally there is another ul and i want to set that ul to flex direction to this uh, flex direction to column and uh, i want to set its text align to center if you refresh it nothing is changed but actually it will work uh, when we work with flexes so what can we do next 
yeah it's uh, a little bit confusing for now but actually we are doing it with flex box so we can say that we can also increase the font size of it so i'm going to change its font size by setting the main napper container to the ul not dot ul actually the very most ul that is coming after inside the main navbar container then li of that ul and then a of those allies i want to set the font size of these to let's suppose 20 pixel refresh it now it is looking good okay what should we do next now i'm going to set these to display none so it won't appear anymore and i will make it display block on uh, hover state so how can i do this it's very simple just you have to use dot main neighbor main neighbor and then i'm going to take the ul li ul so it will select the ul uh, those ul actually this is the ul this is the ally and these ally this ally have this ul so it will select the these this ul and this ul so it will select this these two uls and then what would i want to do it with it i want to display this one this property to none so once you refresh it it will go on and the next thing is i want to set its width to 100% and make a margin top of 10 pixels not 10 this way 10 pixels okay next thing is that we can do is i want to make it block when someone's hover on these list items so how can i do this this is very simple i'm going to select the main neighbor container ul allies and then if someone hover on the ally the ul that is coming inside the ally should become block once you refresh it now you can see nothing is changed yeah that's very good now it is working so yeah i think so we are almost done with this okay so what uh, could we do next yeah it's looking good so we should make set a background color for it so how can i do this i'm again going to select the main neighbor then jewel then the ally coming inside the ul and i want to set a proper uh, property of hover here and then i want to set a background color here do whatever you want i can say that this one refresh it now you can see you hover on these it looks like this but uh, this one is not giving an extra uh, you can say extra drop down so how can i make extra drop down so first of all you have again come to your this uh, html document and inside this algorithm there is uh, actually an ally i'm going to again put the ul here and inside this ul i'm going again I'm going to put ally with a and uh, then you can say that mm, that you can put whatever you want like basic and um, you can say that enter and then you can say that advance okay once you refresh it nothing is changed but here it is coming basic enter and advance and you can see that if i hover on these the algorithm background color is changed in these uh, three ones so it is telling me that it is a part of algorithm so now it looks good but i don't want it here how can i fix this 
now the main thing that I can do if I can set a class here with inner you can, we, whatever you want, you want name it as I'm just using this name so it will make me remember that it is my inner drop down so then I'm going to style.css put this here and um, wh what can I do with this it's a question so I'm just going to put a position here to relative and move the elements or list items that are this so I'm going to again come here to dot inner drop down and then I'm going to put the ul that is inside this inner drop down I'm going to set this position to absolute now these actually this uh, algor uh, this is algorithm and it i put this one uh, to position uh, relative and the basic inter and advanced is a container actually of ul so it, it is in position of absolute now what can i do i'm going to uh, do some right here right i want to set it to 250 pixel whatever you want and then minus 10 pixel from top and again display to none and put it important so it will uh, hardly force it to display to none and then I'm going to put inner drop down again ul uh, once you hover on this one if I put this ul here first of all I should sh uh, show you what is happening if I just remove this property refresh it you can see this is coming in this way and this is looking good but I don't want this one right now the basic head inter advance this one here I want when someone hovers on it it will appear how can I fix this it's very simple I'm just going to put this display to none once you refresh it now it is not showing anymore and then I'm going to Uh, display it here display block so uh, any user that um, hover on this inner drop down that is actually the algorithm when someone hovers on algorithm these this ul will activate it uh, it will display to block so now it will be displaying inshallah so once you can see nothing is changed okay again refresh sometime the browser load make uh, make difficulty actually it is not working so I figured out the problem I should use the important here because this important is taking much uh, force than this one than this simple block so I have to put this one again so once you refresh your page now you can see once I hover on this now you can see it is looking very nice so friends we completed our challenge of how we can create a drop down if you have any questions you can ask me uh, let me again to uh, show you this markup first of all we created a simple HTML file uh, actually I'm revising everything for you so you can see this you can see uh, first of all we create simple um, boilerplate then we create a navbar container this is a simple div or container that is covering the whole our navigation system then I'm using the ul and allies and then home services news about I'm just putting uh, names of random links that I want to display in my page in top of my page then I want then this is my ul inside this ally so it will be uh, we use it as a drop down when we, someone hovers on about so email works just name only a client portfolio will be displayed in a very good way so this is known as drop down and then again tutorials tutorials have another ul this uli item have a ul and inside this ul there is a lot of allies that are telling about courses and there is another ally uh, uh, there is another UL that is inside this ally so it's uh, looking something complex but if you do it practically you can if you uh, 
uh, practice it it will be fine it will be perfect really fine it is uh, very simple as you can see i'm just uh, writing the code and um, uh, i figured out everything very easily so it is very simple you can also do this and um, as you can see i just put the inner drop down here the class and then i style it here so let's come into the style section first of all i uh, just remove all the margins and paddings uh, and uh, from each and every element and then uh, set box size into border box so it will won't affect if i change the padding of any element so the width will not affect and uh, you can see the font family i choose is this sans font family sans serif font family and then there is main neighbor this is my actually this uh, main container and this can uh, then i target the ul that that very coming ul this one actually i'm using this operator here uh, this is a combinator as you can see and why i'm using it here uh, because i just want to select this ul not those all, all uls that are coming inside the uh, this container so i use this one and then i just put display flex style to none and else uh, flex start align items to flex start so it will make it start and the list uh, style will make the dots uh, or the markers uh, set to none and it won't appear anymore the markers won't appear anymore and then i uh, make display flex so it will come in one line people usually use here floats so i'm not a big fan of floats so i don't want to use floats in my website so because there are a lot of trouble with floats you have to use clear property and much more so i'm just putting the, the display flex and it much it make it much more simpler for me and then i just put the main navbar ul ally so actually it is targeting and this main navbar ul and allies here and then i'm just putting the background colors uh, and text aligned to center nearly style to none padding from top bottom to 10 and left right to zero and width to 100 percent so it will taking the full width and then i just target the navbar uh, container again then the another list then ally of that another list so actually this is my name main navbar this is ul i'm just targeting this to this and then this is referencing this referencing this ally and this ally referencing this a so i selected this a here as you can see it's uh, looking something weird but it is very simple so um, i set the color to fff actually it's a white color it's a hexadecimal code then i just put tracks around from top okay so it will make every each and every uh, you can see this news it's all uh, coming in uppercase letter and then i just put text decoration to none the underline will uh, that uh, the underline that is coming will not display when we put the text decoration to none and then i put a main neighbor container again target the ul and target the ally of that ul and target the ul of that ally so actually i target this is main main neighbor container this is ul this is ally and this ally have a, again a ul so i'm targeting this these uls are are all ul's and then I just put the flex direction to column and text line to center. And then I just put main navbar here, ul lia, and set the actually it targets only the main. You can see the, this property is not changed. The font size of email address is not changed, but you can see the about is more looking bigger than the email address because I targeting it with this selector. So it is selecting with very specific way and then i target the main neighbor again ul ally and then ul and set display to none so it will this items uh, or these this complete ul is set to none and it is not appearing here anymore and then i just put a width to 100 percent and top margin to 10 pixels if you refresh it again i just comment it out now you can see there's a difference that this email address is very close to about section so I'm just putting the 10 pixel of margin top. Now you can see it is looking good. And um, the next thing is I again target the main neighbor uh, UL, uh, main neighbor container, then the UL, and then ally. If someone uh, hover on these uh, allies, so what will happen? The UL of those allies will display to block and what is next i just put the background color of each and every ally when someone hovers on it and um, i just put the inner drop down position relative 
so actually this drop down uh, position to relative so this div uh, according working according to this div actually if i remove this property from here you can see a very weird behavior and that is once you hover on it it is looking it is appearing here and you can't select it so you have to put the uh, position relative here so it will actually do what it can do it is actually uh, refreshing me hit this page so it is actually this div actually work according to the algorithm div yeah that's good you can say div you can say container you can say whatever you want and then i just to put top to 10 pixel minus 10 pixels so it will make it uh, come come towards the top because if you i remove this you can see it is not looking good so i have to put this one here and set display to none again okay and once someone hovers on it it will become block and now it is perfectly fine okay uh, let me refresh it and now you can see it is perfectly fine so this is the simple thing this is a simple very simple task that we have done with simple styling this is very custom drop down menu there are a lot of ways you can create much more cool drop down and amazing drop down menus that are uh, that we, i will make those uh, videos also so i will actually i am thinking that i will create a, a playlist for components uh, separately for css for javascript for php for each and every language so don't worry just do subscribe to my channel watch videos share videos if you want to support me and thanks for watching and allah hafiz and see you in the next video